Let's have a look at some Asim Al Hakim funny moments. I'm excited. Let's have a look at this one. Everything around us is pure by default. Is this pen najis or pure? It's pure. How do you know, Sheikh? Maybe the person who used it before you had sold hands. Maybe he had urine. Maybe he did not wash. Maybe. <laughs> And maybe your parents are not your biological parents. <laughs> maybe. People come and say, I divorced my wife in anger. This is normal. Nobody divorces his wife while drinking a cup of coffee or tea. And he's in a good mood and says, listen, my love, I divorce you. <laughs> that is actually true like imagine you're like sitting there chilling like oh that's that's my coffee mm, uh, thank you and maybe the wife even made it right this coffee is really good today <laughs> you know what it's over with us no you're not gonna say that if you get uh, a coffee from your wife but yeah and this at the beginning this is actually true you should not have so much doubt <laughs> alhamdulillah because this comes from uh, shaitan like shaitan is trying to confuse us this is the same with voodoo i actually had uh, i learned in a lecture about voodoo for example that some people are going in the masjid for prayer and they sometimes uh, think oh did i fart or not is am i am still having voodoo and you they did not hear or smell anything right so they don't know but shaitan tells them maybe they farted or something so so you have to be very very careful with that like this is from Shaitan. I divorce you. All divorces take place in anger. However, the true anger is the anger that a person has no control over. Yeah. To begin a non-Muslim with Assalamu Alaikum is totally prohibited. But greeting in other forms. So I go to the company, my company. I go and to you the say office, salam or hello. My subordinate, my colleague, my supervisor, and I say, hey, good morning. What's cooking? Good looking. <laughs> wow. Perfumes that have alcohol are totally prohibited to drink. The Sheikh, who would drink it? So you tell me. <laughs> Lying it externally is totally permissible. Oh, but it contains alcohol. So what? I'm not drinking it. I have my most important exam. That's actually true. Um, but there's something else we have to point out. The alcohol that is found in deodorants and like in deos, right? In uh, sometimes maybe shampoos too, right? Because they have also this sort of perfume like thingy, right? Um, you have regular perfumes. It is also different from the one mentioned in the Quran that is forbidden to drink because this alcohol is in a different form that is not made for drinking right so there's like even the me the medical um alcohol for wounds right like so so you hurt yourself you have an injury a cut and you use this infection spray this infection spray also contains a alcohol but it's a different sort of alcohol so it depends also about the chemical um how do I say structure, right? Like what sort of alcohol is it? Is it the one for drinking or the other type of alcohol? Because alcohol has, has uh, different forms as well. So we have to be also mindful of that, right? So of course, uh, some, some of the articles, like some perfumes, some shampoos that have this, this is a different type of alcohol. Drinking it. I have my most important exams till now in my life, inshallah, right after Eid. And I'm worried that I may uh, lose... Uh, the strength for preparation. What is the ruling for me? There is no problem, Achi. As long as you are not interested in paradise, you have no problem <laughs> in going to hell. You have no problem. You can skip fasting. The most important exam in my life. What is your life? The most important exam in your life is what you're living at the moment. Yeah. Which the results would know, be known after your death. Yeah. You go to paradise, so go to, he to hell exam the question is is it permissible to eat crocodile <laughs> yeah. you can eat it before it eats you <laughs> man tells his wife to keep fit and clean what is the ruling on such a woman and what advice would you give to both the man and the woman hit the gym first <laughs> and lead by example look that is actually so true like you, you, you know what's funny so i have one friend that is not a muslim and he always tells me his daily life problems maybe he trusts me or something right 
And he was talking to a girl with a haram relationship or something and he said this girl like likes him or something but she asks him to hit the gym or something but then he complained that this girl is is is, is not fit she's very chubby and uh, <laughs> he said like why he has to hit the gym for her when she's chubby and i was actually shocked at this myself right like Wait, so 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 you're not dating like like a Miss Universe or so some some so some model like girl or something? It is actually a girl that's like overweight, but she asks you you should go to the gym for her to have a good fit appearance. And I was like, what's up with those expectations? Like, should you even expect anything higher than what you can provide? Like, look in the mirror. Are you this person? If you are this person, you can say to the other one, okay, you can also copy me or something, right? Like, you hit the gym together with your wife. Okay, no problem. Or your wife wants to go to the, the wants the husband to go to the gym. You join him, right? Like, then it's fair. Hit the gym first and lead by example. Look in the mirror, ya akhi. MashaAllah, who you think, do you think you are? Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Mr. Universe? If you want... Miss Universe, you have to be Mr. Olympia. So you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. You can't demand your wife to be something when you yourself are not even as close. But wow. at the same time, be content. Sheikh, I'm your big fan. May Allah bless you, May Allah promote you to uh, an air condition. Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> That, that that was actually that was actually very very good guys like Sheikh, <laughs> uh, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> May Allah promote you to a air condition. <laughs> this was really good too, right? I actually love like uh, also listening to the lectures of uh, Sheikh Asim Al Hakim. He has like actually very very good lectures. Of course, it's like funny like uh, the the questions like he answers right when he receives like phone calls and stuff, right? But like even his like regular lectures are in my opinion very very good and informative. He he has some really good ones. I actually listened to one not long ago about the Sahabas and stuff that he made, right? And also about like how. Uh, Islam, for example, yesterday I actually listened to a lecture by uh, Sheikh Asim Al Hakim, where he talked about how Islam is a religion of balance, a religion of the middle, right? Like how you need to balance everything and stuff, right? Like not be too extreme on things, like yeah, you do all your ibadah, but still find time, for example, for your wife, your family, for your health, your body, and don't uh, ignore everything that's like sunnah and fat, right? Like you can do that too. So you have to obey everything in Islam, worship. Do everything but not go on extreme. So yeah, I, I really like the lectures of Sheikh Asim Al Hakim. I learned a lot from him. <laughs> and yeah, those funny moments. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like the trick in being funny. You have to be funny, like super funny, while being super super serious that you almost seem even angry. Like he sometimes he says something so funny and he looks a bit upset or something, right? But he knows he's making a joke, so he he can make jokes while being super serious. And this is like this is a trick. Like if you want to be a good comedian, you have to learn to not laugh at your own jokes. It sounds crazy, right? But you have to learn to not laugh at your own jokes because this makes you more funny because you're very serious and you say something very strange and everyone is laughing but you still have this angry face or something. <laughs> MashaAllah. But yeah, guys, this was funny. Which one was your favorite one? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time, inshallah.